<clears throat> this intro is all about me because I've gotten a new camera and I look 10 times better. Shout out, Joe. Just introdu introduce the story. Uh, side Go note, on. Peter's going to talk about some stuff regarding Britain. Jesus. Children, I guess. And uh, the end of all encryption on today's Not So Critical Update. Nailed it. This is an important story, John, you dick. He does have a new camera, though, and he's very pleased with it. So everybody write in the comments how wonderful he is and how crisp and how sharp he looks, how how much better. It, how, how, like, right. like, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous face right there. That's a superstar face. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So um, headline for those listening on Apple Podcasts, as I know where so many of you are. Uh, British intelligence recycles old argument for thwarting strong encryption. Think of the children uh, from the register. <clears throat> it's a uh, thing that comes up every now and again. Uh, basically, people from the national, the NCSC, uh, NSCS, NCSC. I don't know the NCSU. national, no <laughs> national cybersecurity centre in the UK have written a, a, a long article that says, "Hey, you know what? The only thing that we there's going to." Um, uh, prevent ch child sexual abuse material online is scanning online or breaking encryption backdoors. That's what we need. We need to, the government needs a way to scan everything, um, like to, for for dodgy content. The, it mentions the four horsemen of the infopocalypse, which is um, terrorism, uh, child child abuse. Um, I think what's organized crime, which I think covers all the other things as well, and kind of redundant. Uh, drugs. Drugs. Always drugs. Drugs. Also, yeah. again, redundant. Be like yeah. organized crime. It's just like, like organized crime is everything. Anyway, bingo with other three. Uh, just, just amateur drug users, um, and all the other ones are amateurs. And then there's organized crime where, where they got their act together. Apparently. Anyway, yeah. So it's a kind of it comes up every every few years. Is the yeah. government basically want backdoor into um, people's uh, communications, and it's. But they never talk about, obviously, because it's not on their agenda to, but they never talk about all the things that end-to-end -end encryption protects. And, yeah. um, Free speech. Like, yeah. like privacy, liberty. the right to privacy. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sound journalism. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> just, a, just a few things coming off of our heads here. Yeah, just on the top of our heads. But not important, obviously. Um, and this is something Apple tried to solve with the iCloud scanning of uh, hashing and comparing hashes to yeah. um, to kind of try to protect the user's privacy, but at the same time, not really, because you're still scanning images. Um, it was one, of the, one of the comments in the article actually was that Apple couldn't get it right. How right. is the government going to be able to no, do it? No, exactly. Apple, like oh, we're right. talking about the richest, one of the top three richest companies with yeah. some of the brightest minds on earth, and they couldn't get it right. I want to. I want to just quickly mention. Next week, we should be having Marshall Brain joining us for a quick interview. Um, who the author of Mana, a book I've long thought was a, a, a instant modern classic. Long, long time I've fan been, of the book. Yeah. Yeah. yeah lots of, uh, okay, but I am actually a long time. <laughs> yeah, fan. I know, okay. I have, I have been. Oh, did I you finally been, read it, John? Shut up! <laughs> I've been shilling. I've been shilling this book. I swear for eight yeah. years, like it anyway, is the top, top top of yeah. Go ahead. I sort of briefly. I don't want to go into too much detail yet, but this is the kind of topic I will really want to ask him about: privacy versus crime. Like, does he think that it's okay to to have um, your your device scanned for the government? To, you know, is it okay for the government to have access to your unfettered access to your device and all your communications? Um, cause I'm genuinely curious. Uh, he wrote uh, uh, this great book, Mana. So, and it's all about that anyway. And it's been 19 uh, years since Mana, mm -hmm. since Mana was released. I'm also curious to know what has changed in Marshall's, um, opinion now. 19. Are you sure? I thought it was 2003, 2012. I think. Really? Wow. Okay. Hang on. Didn't we have this conversation? And then I posted on, on discord that it was 2012. 
Hold on. Fuck it, we'll do it live. We'll do it live! Yeah, and as a 2003 <laughs> science fiction well, novel. Got, got Originally sound. published, 2003. The audience loves nothing oh. more than when we research okay. on the show. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. about this story, like, I, you're not going to like it. <laughs> so, they mentioned terrorism, drug dealers, uh, childhood sexual abuse materials, and organized crime. I don't even think any of those are the worst of the problems. And I'm going to say again that I am really on the fence about this. I get the privacy arguments. The anonymity stuff still really gets to me. They say it. So in the article, they cite the, the article is based on this paper that these guys wrote and then they revised yeah. it more recently. And one of the things they say in the, in the, uh, introduction to the to the study or to the to the pieces these platforms can be used and they are routinely used to attempt to cause harm at scale and to me that's the big issue yes we want to catch the individual crimes uh organized crime drug dealers terrorists child sexual abuse but these these platforms social media platforms are being used at scale to misinform, to mislead, to 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 foment violence. Yeah, other things that they can do, other than giving the government access to everybody's devices. Yeah, oh, great. Let's they're, do they're them. Talking about factor in in uh, well, they should they should fucking do it. Face one of the things that pisses me off about Facebook and Twitter and everybody so much is that they put such a tiny fraction of their budget into preventing these kind of harm. And they can do so much more. They can hire a legion of moderators to to. I mean, China's done it, right? They they get rid of any mentions of Tiananmen Square in all the comments <clears throat> online, or posts and, and comments on social media. So, technically, how much? How many billions does Facebook have in the bank? How many billions even, does Apple have in the bank? I don't even necessarily <laughs> want them to censor it. I think I don't, and, and and maybe there's just different problems. I think I don't know. To me, it always goes back to the anonymity. If I could, if I had to take responsibility, identify myself with the statements that I was making, I think people would behave differently online. Okay, but your, your issue is with people making uh, statements in public online. This is about uh, this is about communications between two different devices. This is about like Signal being illegal because they need a backdoor into how Signal communicates. Okay, it's okay. a different problem. Being solved how Korea here, solved this, by the way? Yeah, just don't let anybody online. No, or, South Korea. <laughs> Oh, South Korea. Sorry. Right. How did they solve it? South Korea solved this by uh, legally mandating that if you create an online account, it has to be linked to your what's equivalent to your social oh. security number. That is not. In, I'd have to think about that before 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 I totally agree with you. But it sounds better than you know. <clears throat> uh, it's it's just a problem of like what account. happens when what happens when that identity number gets abused by someone yeah, else. Then we're back to identity management. Fortunate exactly okay, all right, so all right. it's just this is such a tough topic yeah it's true and uh to break co modern end-to-end -end encryption is definitely not the solution i don't think that doesn't mean that we can't solve it right here right now because you know being the armchair experts that we are we sure. should have a solution yeah. very um, smart <laughs> i i will accept that it's two different issues uh privacy and anonymity However, they're very close okay. to the legs. Oh, it's so close just to, to cut off after the however. You almost had it. I think we've got the end of the podcast, the end of the episode right there. <laughs> after um, I say however, or before I yeah. acknowledge there's a difference. <laughs> before, 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 however. However. I will accept that P is right, and that's Wait, the end of that. that. Is that right. how you heard yeah. that statement? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like Mike, I feel like Mike, like you're like selectively remembering things because yeah. I have a distinct memory of you saying, "Oh, maybe you guys are right about anonymity." I think Look, you did say that. Or did say that. Things change over time. Opinions aren't static. Right. I believe yeah, what's like in front water. of me at the moment. It's like water, okay, just, okay, right. just flow. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we'll see how it plays out. Okay. So here's here's the bottom line. I completely, unreservedly, fully endorse, support, and agree with Peter's position on this. Oh shit! I already stopped the recording. Hey. Sorry. Oh, you bitch! <laughs>